Hey guys, I thought I'd just do a quick video. I haven't done a while video in a while. Um, so a few things have changed on this tank. Uh, one, I have a new power head, just one there, and the old one is just there. I've as you see now I've got a Ritter or Magnificent uh, Sea Anemone. Uh, the clownfish are hosting in there, so they're doing really, really well. They're really happy, but he just he likes there for some reason. I don't know why, but hey ho. So that's the sea anemone. Starfish is doing really well. As you can see with all the rocks now, they are basically all purple. That's through the coralline algae. Uh, I also have two corals. Um, there's the first one. It is slightly bleached. But I wasn't aware that they need feeding. But I have feeding now, so his colour is starting to come back a little bit. Also, I have a green star polyp. Uh, I got that, we give him for free. Uh, also, in the tank now, I have a blue jaw goby. Uh, he loves eating the sieve in the sand, so he's doing a fantastic job. My sand has never looked so better. Uh, I am going to buy some more sand because I only got about 60, 60 pounds worth of uh, Nature's Ocean live sand, so I'm going to order some more. So that's coming in, and there's a the starfish. Uh, I have four green chromuses. I still have pajama cardinals, one over there, one there. Uh, my red velvet wrasse, he's doing really, really well. He's, he's grown a huge amount in size. Uh, as you can see it at the top, kind of fish hosting. It's just a shame that the uh, sea anemones up there, not down here. But hey ho. Anyway, going to the sump. Uh, as you can see now, I have uh, max spec bio spears. So I have uh, 20 pounds worth of them there, and I always have box tech. Uh, ceramic blocks so they're doing really well uh, also I also have a new skimmer this is the reef skim 500 up to capacity up to 500 liters uh, this skimmer has only been running now for I say about a week and a half to two weeks uh, so it's still fairly new and it's still breaking in um, but I give it its due it's doing doing a great job as you can see, it's uh, giving it quite a yellow skim, so it's quite doing a white skim at the minute. But I'm waiting for it to actually fully uh, establish itself. They say it takes about five weeks to establish, and then I'm going right, to drop the uh, bubbles to about, about here, and then have a, have a dry skim. But yeah, that's the skimmer. Uh, some looking nice and clean I have my activated carbon uh, and also the last uh, bit I'm doing with the tank now because obviously I've got the corals in the tank is I'm dosing it now with cellophane all in one uh, this increased alkalinity and calcium and amino acids is, so it's really really good um, the corals is a base is an all in one A and B um, and it's give you great instructions uh, regular maintenance uh, every week 5 ml dose for 100 litres but I have average 100 litre sump and 120 gallon or oh, I think it's 400 litres so I think it's about 480 to 500 litres in total so I dose this by 25 mil every week and it's boost the um, coralline algae everywhere probably you can't see it but the coralline algae is uh, just there it's looking really good also now I have on here I have a new light system I have a 
Flugel uh, 3.0 light system, which I'll just show you in two seconds. The little features what it does. So is, this is the app. So I put it as reef light. So this is how I got the settings on it. So I put it next to the tank and I'll show you what it does. You've got different modes. So if I press this one, I can have it on uh, deep sea glow, sunny reef and color boost. I'll just show you deep sea glow. So I press export. So it gives me a lot more bluer tank. Uh, press the export button again. No, I don't want that. Uh, sunny reef. So it gives a lot more whiter. You can probably see the enemy a lot better like that. Uh, also, you got color boost. Uh, press it again. Color boost. And it changed the effect. But I, uh, my settings as reef. So it says it's changed the settings. But on this button here, you can set the timer and it gives you a 30 seconds of a 24 hour clock. So, as you can see now, this is running through. The tank is off at the minute. So it starts at 8 o'clock in the morning, it starts to ramp up. And that's the settings I like. It's not a bad light. But I am going to change it to an AI Primes. Uh, I wish I saw that out in the first place. Because this light cost me about 220 quid. And the AI Primes is going to cost me 220 quid each. And I need two. Anyway guys, that's just a quick video to let you know how the tank is going. It's going well. Everything's all sorted. Um, unfortunately, I lost uh, two of my fish. I lost... Uh, yellow tang and I also lost uh, my butterfly fish due to ick but the tanks were sorted now anyway guys thanks ever so much hope you enjoyed the video if you've got any comments leave a leave a comment down below and please subscribe to this channel It'd be much appreciated and even give it a like anyway guys cheers bye